Hello, my fans of capitalism, and welcome back to another episode of Another Brick in the Mall. In this episode, we're going to work on finishing up the beginnings of the movie theater, so that we have a bit of a mall actually going on instead of just Raymart Supercenter. With that in mind, let's go ahead and jump back into the game. But this is actually going to be the entrance to the mall. This is going to be the main walkway along the mall which is going to be at least three wide. Actually, it should be four wide. So even though that's going to look a bit weird here, well, the thing is, out here is going to be four as well. So one, two, three, four. All right. What we can have is just, we're just going to build this wall here. Yes, we'll have it just like that. <sighs> really, game? Stop fighting me on this. Destroy all of this. Destroy all of this. Destroy all of this. Destroy this. I have no idea why it is. That is so weird. All right, we know that this is going to be six across. Oh, that's why I was in the wrong thing. Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. Oh, well. All right. Put this back the way it should be, as if I wasn't insane. All right. Let's go ahead and build this wall across here like it should have been. That you were trying to do, and then I messed it up. So one, two, three, four. Then here, we know the entranceway here is going to be... Here, actually here. And the dead center of this area is going to be... Right here. So we actually want... do that. Right, we're just going to have to do that for now, but then in the end we will make this wider on each side. And that should work out fine. Let's continue. We're going to go ahead and have doors on the two sides of each of the movie theaters. Here. And we'll see where the doors in this area are going to go. We know that there's going to be a double door. Well, actually, we're going to do nice double doors on both sides here to really allow people to flow into this area to get into the movie theater. All right. So let's see how we're doing financially with everything else. 
Looks like having the one cashier here isn't the end of the world by any means. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is that guy I had just assigned to be on this shift, it's actually going to come in at 1700 And then we're going to need to hire another cashier for this place that comes in at 1 in the morning. And we will also need a stock clerk. Ooh, that's a really good cashier. I definitely want to save her for a time when I definitely need a cashier. So let's go ahead and hire another stock clerk that'll show up sometime around 1700 and be there till close. And then we're going to go ahead and open Sprinkles to be a 24 hour store. Or a 23 hour store. Since it doesn't look for some reason like it can go the other hour exactly sure why. We'll see how that works. Alright. So we've got plenty of garbage over there. Oh, I am going to need a trash can of some kind here. Uh, where do I want to put the trash can? We'll put a trash can there. And one there. Business here is going well still. Need those shelves built, but I'm having to wait until they're done with the other things for that. Alright, so business is going well overall. Let's go ahead and hit the speed up button see how things go. Alright, we got our shelves in, so let's go ahead and fill those up with our new items of tools. We'll go ahead and put hand tools there and power tools here. Why not? Just even more things for our people here to have to stock. So, they're on their cell phone simply because of the fact that the actual products are not getting in as fast as they're putting them out on the shelves. You gotta love consumerism and how much our people are working. Alright. So Sprinkle seems to be doing fine. Our gut grenades is doing fine. They got bored with building up here it seems like. Well this one guy's building up here. And this guy decided he didn't want to talk to him anymore so he decided he's going to go build this hallway down here. I support his decision in doing that. As long as they're working, I don't care where they're working. So, alright, we've got our new tools out here. We can see some drills and some saws. And I can make out a hammer here. I don't know if this is a paddle, or I don't know how you would use that as a hand tool, but, I mean, it will teach a kid if you paddle them hard enough, so. Maybe that's what they do. I don't know. Alright. We have not had a complaint today about parking, which is a nice thing. Even though we are using a large amount of parking, it hasn't been the same as before where we've just been overwhelmed with the parking issues. So I think once we get these movie theaters built, we're going to have possibly a parking problem come up. And I'm planning that parking to actually come up over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go about middle of the map, bring a road down, and right along it, we're going to put in two parking garages, which we have to research here. That will replace these giant parking areas, because the parking garages, while they're expensive, they cost 200000 per parking garage, they can have 200 cars in each, and they take up a lot less room. So we're going to go ahead and put those up there, and we'll put the other entrance for the northern side with that parking garage. So we'll have the eastern entrance here leave this parking area for right now on the eastern side we'll build parking garages on the southern northern and western sides and then later we'll come back in and we'll remove some of this parking lot to build in the parking garages over here so now it's just a matter of waiting for things to be built Sprinkles actually did close for an hour. 
I don't know why Sprinkles had to close for an hour, but evidently you can't have your coffee shop open 24 hours. So people are not allowed to get coffee between 11 o'clock and midnight. It's evidently against company policy. Sprinkles does not allow that to happen. So now I've learned I'm accepting of that. It's just going to be the way it is. All right, so they've almost, they've got one theater entirely built. They've got another one almost built. And then we have the lobby almost finished here as well. So we'll go ahead and wait till that's completed. Then we're going to go ahead and put things into these places with the money that we've earned over the day while they've been building it. And we haven't had one complaint of not having enough cashiers on. So evidently, my maneuvering around of people and clerks and such has worked out and the lines have stayed small enough that it's been okay. We're definitely making money off of it, so that's not an issue at all. And it looks like we don't get many customers at Sprinkles early in the day. But we are starting to run out of product here a little bit. So perhaps I need to move around when the uh, stock clerks come in. Because the stock clerk right now works till 1 in the morning, but we have that hour of dead time there. So instead, perhaps what I do is I have the stock clerk come in at 1 in the morning, works till 9, and then this stock clerk, instead of just coming in at 9, let's have them come in at 1400. We'll have a gap in the middle of the day, Actually, let's go ahead and make it till 20. Then I think we should be covering the time well enough. We'll have to see. We may very well need a third stock clerk for the place, but I'd rather not have another stock clerk if I don't have to for this location. It's such a small place. I don't really see the need of having three stock clerks there. Once again, when we have the entire facility built, it's going to be built in such a fashion that we're just going to hopefully have one storage area so we'll have stock clerks that just stock things to the different places from that storage area. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use the same employees for multiple buildings. I sort of doubt that. But at least the facility will be contained in one area. So we won't have vans over here that are loading product all the way over here. Speaking of which, though, our products do seem to be staying on the shelves quite well now. So that's a good thing. We're actually making progress with Raymart, and we're not falling behind as we had been before. All right, so we're halfway through bars. Fitness center's not going in Raymart. Bowling's not going in Raymart. Tobacco, we could sell tobacco at Raymart. We can also sell magazines and such. And we could supply e-cigarettes and liquid. I think those two we'll go ahead and put in Raymart. Because nothing, sells the poor, nothing says the poor quality and cheap products of Raymart like trying to give our customers cancer. So we're going to go with cigarettes as our next thing that we're going to sell out of Raymart. Alright, you guys have been taking a long time to build this facility. And you're still missing spots over here. Why is it that you decide to build things in a random order and not complete one area when you're in that area? Then we get things like we just have a random wall here for no apparent reason. Whoa. So Raymart had... Look at how many empty shells we're getting already. People are just shopping so quickly at Raymart during the day that we cannot keep up with the products on the shelves. It is ridiculous. Alright. Well... We will have to hire yet another stock clerk for Raymart. And I actually remembered this time. I did not put the person over at Sprinkles. We went to the proper place. Let's get a stock clerk that's going to work here. All right. So we have... He's really good as a cashier, so I don't want to waste him here. So we're going to use Casey instead. Casey's pretty good. We're going to have her come in at... Let's have her come in at 9... Actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and have nine that she'll come in. It's going to be at peak time here, so that way 
she can hopefully get a lot of this stuff onto the shelves and we're not having problems with that. Wow, we need another person here at Sprinkles. All right, so we do need another cashier at Sprinkles. Hire a cashier. All right, we've got Julia. She's really quite good. We'll hire her. She's going to come in, and she's going to actually start at 10 o'clock to be here for part of this rush. Actually, no, we're just going to have her be here at 9. That should work out okay. Oh, and part of the problem I see actually isn't that we need another cashier. It's that we don't have the stock clerk coming in for another little bit here till noon. So I actually need her. Instead of being a cashier, we just need to actually have another stock clerk. So we're going to have the one come in at noon for today. She's going to come in at 1. The stock clerk comes in at noon. Don't need both of them at one. We're gonna have to have one come in. Really, I want them to just end at 2300 though, because we know it's gonna be close for that. You know, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna fight it. We'll just have them waiting there for an hour doing nothing. It's okay. Unless I can finally get this place to be open 24 hours. Not understand why this place is open only 23 hours but okay still we're gonna have her come in at 1700 this one comes in at 1 and then after this one works today at 20 we'll go ahead and reschedule her to come in at 9 the next day so she should be getting here shortly there we go she's come in she took care of the stocking issue and so even though people are upset they're getting their stuff and they're okay now. So we have another one coming in actually at 1700. We'll go ahead and change her schedule at 1700. She can go home early today, come back when we need her. All right, so they've almost finished up this mega complex of an area here. All right. So then we know we need, let's go ahead and hit pause here. We know we need a ticket ticket lobby all right that's the ticket lobby and for it we need cashiers and we need order counters all right then we're gonna need movie theaters we're gonna start off by showing two movies so we're gonna have a movie theater here and a movie theater here and with these we're gonna need to assign or we're gonna need to manage so we're gonna go with I think Ticket Lobby worked perfectly fine. We'll just leave it at that. We're only going to have one, probably. Then Movie Theater, we're going to call this one... Let's see, we're going to have one over here. Well, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. So this is Movie Theater 4. All right. And then we need to link to the lobby. And it is linked to the lobby. All right, so now we are going to need to build the things that we have to have in these places. So we are going to have to have order counters, which I don't have the money for because I spent all the money building this facility and do not have the money to actually use it yet. So I probably shouldn't assign these things yet because otherwise people are going to want to use them and then they're going to get really upset when there's nothing going on in it. All right, so right now we're just going to have to deal with crippling debt until we go ahead and make our money back from building this mega complex on here. So right now, if people want to wander in this nice long hallway that goes to nowhere, they can go ahead and do that. There's nothing there, but there will be in time. There will be. All right. So I'm not sure I actually needed two counters here, but same as I didn't probably need the four counters here. 
Though actually we're getting enough people standing around here wanting to actually eat here, we might actually need the four counters, but we don't have enough space for the seating then. So the plan's going to be up here. We're going to put our ticket counters up here. And then in this area, we're going to have an arcade set up. So that way kids can be playing on games, everything of that nature. We might put a few soda machines or something. Because I haven't seen things in here like a popcorn machine or whatever. So we won't have those for them. And we really can't do the fast food because that's a separate thing entirely from the, from the movie theater. So... Yeah, we can't have the bar. We can have the movie projector, which is going to cost us 10 grand, and we're going to need the spectator seats. So probably we'll set up one theater bare bones to begin with, and then we'll improve it as we go. All right, so we can put in vending machines in here. That'll sort of be our food. We'll just have to say that that's how they're getting their popcorn and such. And then we can have arcade cabinets and pinball machines in there. So we can at least have a decent arcade going on for our customers. I think that's important. I want my customers to enjoy and to be actually experiencing it like a good movie theater. All right, so our trash cans have been moved in there. Okay, so we have too many people at duck grenades and not enough staff to take care of it. So we need duck grenades. We're going to go ahead and put on another cashier. I don't want to use a really good cashier. We don't need a really good cashier at Gut Grenades. So we'll use Justin instead. Justin looks like a person who would work at Gut Grenades. So Justin's going to go ahead and start at 9 o'clock. Actually at 8 looks good because we have this spike in business there right about at 9. Yeah, maybe 9 will be good. So we'll have him start at 9, and then we'll see if we need other ones later on. There's no parking still available. Good lord. The amount of people that are pulling in here is ridiculous right now. I mean, I've given staff their own parking, so they're not taking up spaces. And yet still we're just getting inundated with people, even as fast as they're getting through at Raymart. And it's only going to get worse once we actually have the movie theater up and running. I think what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to need... Oh, we've got the bars, but we don't have any money to actually put in bars. So let's go ahead and research the cancer sticks here in tobacco. And then we'll get some e-cigarettes to go along. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with them at all, so I don't know if they have any problematic effects like cigarettes do. But... I'm just going to go with that they probably also cause cancer. Because if you don't know something, make an assumption. It works out well that way. I always find that's the truth. Yes, we don't have enough parking. I understand that's people's problems. Though I don't understand exactly because I see plenty of parking spaces right here. So they're not looking hard enough. They need to drive around a little bit more. They'll be fine. <sighs> but the reality of the matter is they're not fine. And instead, what we're going to end up doing is, once we get this, you know, really, I want this underground parking. But two things about it. For one, it's going to take an enormous amount of time. And then when I go to build said underground parking, it's going to take an enormous amount of money here as well. And we're already 57000 in the hole. So that's not going to work out for right now. We're going to have to just... Make our money back, have Raymart be plugging along here, making us money, making the customers happy by allowing them to buy all the different cheap consumables that I sell at Raymart, and then once we've made our money back, we can go ahead and open the movie theater and just continue along that course for right now. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you know when I produce new videos. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you are shopping somewhere other than Raymart, you're probably getting a better deal.